Representative, thank you for joining us. And as we are here uh, in Springfield, Illinois, we actually have you as a guest because you're a state representative from Colorado uh, and your brother is one of our state representatives here in Illinois. That's quite a interesting family uh, trivia, I guess. Uh, uh, how did that happen that you both became state reps? Well, I think it's because he saw that I was a state rep and loved what I was doing, so he had to get into the business. Um, but I think uh, when the amazing rep, Lou Lang, decided he was retiring, Yechiel stepped up, or Mark, pardon me, stepped up to um, be one of the people considered to fill the vacancy. And I'm really excited that they selected him, and I think that he will do wonderful work for Illinois. And what is your brother's name? Uh, rep Mark Kalish. Now, you and I were talking off camera about an issue that's before the Illinois legislature, recreational marijuana, and most people will know that Colorado already legalized recreational marijuana. Were you the bill author on that, or, or I don't know, did you author that bill in Colorado? I did not author that bill, no. That um, legalization took place before I came into the assembly. Um, and it was a ballot measure because in Colorado we have um, TABOR, um, short no, shortly known as the Taxpayer Bill of Rights, which requires everything like that, a question like that has to go to the ballot. So it's the people of Colorado who authorize recreational marijuana. And I was asking you, uh, your, how long has it been in practice uh, and, and what's your assessment of how it's going in Colorado? Um, Good question, how long? I think we're four years in recreational, many more in medicinal. And I think that it's going really well because it's given us the opportunity to be able to do things like regulate the industry, um, understand how much it takes to get someone to have a an, the experience of cannabis, um, make sure that we can mark on, on packaging what to take, what not to take. And I think it's good. I think it's a good thing. One of the things cited, issues cited in this uh, overall issue is you have to have the right tax level. Otherwise, you continue to have uh, an illegal market where people try to avoid the tax. Relative to the tax that was established in Colorado, it was, did, does the state find that it's done away with the illegal market, or how's that aspect working? Uh, that's an excellent question. I actually think we, we did hit sweet spot on the taxing level. Um, there was a question of whether or not we were going to go in for taxing of liquid products this year, but that bill did not pass through. The, the bigger question in terms of black market, gray market, whatever it is that you might look at, we were seeing that more in the medicinal area because our medicinal um, cannabis is regulated to the certain number of plants you may have per grower and its individual grower. So we did do some work to increase those levels of what you can use of the plant, who can use it, and we hope that we're going to see that reduction in gray and black market activity from that. Have you talked about this with any of the Illinois representatives, and if so, or even if you haven't, what advice would you be giving them relative to their consideration of making it legal here in Illinois? Uh, no serious sit-down conversations, but I did tell one member that she needs to stop this action immediately because we need the tax revenues in Colorado. Um, but I will say that I do think that it was a, um, a positive thing overall for the people of Colorado, and if you would ask in Colorado, I think you would hear that on the streets. It's giving us a lot more opportunity, as I mentioned earlier, to study and measure and do the things that we need to do to make sure that Coloradans stay, stay safe. And I would recommend it for Illinois. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.